May 26, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Now I know we got a big storm system moving through uh, the United States, the central United States today, and uh, we got a lot of things to cover, but I wanted to start in Joplin, Missouri. 1,500 people still missing in the U.S. tornado aftermath. At least 122 people died and over 1,500 people remain unaccounted for across a region of Missouri hit by the largest tornado on record for the region. Homes and places of work have been destroyed. Few buildings have been left standing. Thousands are missing and many, and many are dead. The number of deceased and injured is expected to rise as their search for the missing continues. And again, they are going from street to street and they are getting as much done as quickly as possible because time is really of the essence and there is such a huge devastation. I will attach a link to this story below, of course. Over to the extinction protocol. Um, they've got a story geologists fear aftershocks in Japan may trigger other faults to erupt uh, on the Pacific Rim there. Um, there's several major faults there and it is a great big quake with uh, lots of aftershocks. Well, they've got a story, Earth Changes Sweeps Over Iran, Largest Lake Turning to Salt. Now they're saying due to damming of several rivers feeding into uh, one of Iran's largest lakes, um, it is drying out and basically turning into a great big salt flag. Because uh, they're having severe drought and stuff as well. They've got a film of the volcanic eruption in Iceland, uh, the, the Grimston volcano. Uh, the RSE is reporting that the ash has stopped and uh, the volcano's calmed down a bit, but they're not saying it's over officially quite yet. Um, they're starting to, um, like the Dutch are starting to fly again, that kind of thing. Um, so we'll see, time will tell. And uh, Category 4, Typhoon, closes in on the Philippines. 154 mile per hour wind gusts. Uh, just a major storm, and they were worried that this storm is going to sweep through the Philippines and roll up by Japan, Fukushima, and another radioactive storm uh, in that area. Speaking of Fukushima, Holes found in Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Again, the TEPCO lies continue. They are now admitting to uh, holes as big as 7 to 10 centimeters, um, like 3 to 4 inches big in the containment. Um, blah, blah, blah. The place is leaking like a sieve. Uh, all three reactors melted down within the first day and um, things are much worse than they ever pretended um, and again just the bullshit continues uh, I will post uh, links to some videos um, that like Leak Spinner put out uh, some very important um, Miss Smokey the Clown uh, some others putting out some pretty good videos following the Fukushima and uh, thank you for all your hard work I will keep attaching um, your videos to mine Volcanic ash leads to hundreds of canceled flights in Europe, blah, blah, blah. And again, like I said, the RSE OA is reporting that uh, the ash has stopped for now. And then we get into all the stories with uh, the storms here in the United States. Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex engulfed by dull waves from monster storm system. Twisters tear through Oklahoma City during rush hour. 14 killed in three states. Uh... I've got another fear story, Mother Nature wreaks havoc, 2011, the year of the black swan. And uh, devastating tornadoes, floods, earthquakes overseas, and busier than usual hurricane season have the U.S. insurance companies bracing for record losses in 2011. So bend over, America, you're about to pay for it some more. You know, to think about what is all of this costing on top of our um, devastated economic situation uh, as it is. Uh, with the Gulf of Mexico a problem with uh, all these storms and the flooding and the more rain we're getting right now on top of the flooding that we already have and uh, all that water out of Montana and Minnesota uh, is coming down the Missouri River complex and just compiling the situation. Uh, 
heavy rains bring flooding to parts of northeast Ohio on Tuesday. Slow moving line storms brought heavy rains to parts of Portage, Stark, Summit, and Wayne counties Tuesday evening, uh, producing floods. And uh, again, it's just an ongoing situation in the Ohio, Mississippi, uh, Missouri valleys. Mother Nature is in happy Texas U.S. rain hail force light late night in Arlington, Texas. Apparently the Rangers ball game was canceled due to extreme weather. Montana, U.S. heavy rain in Billings cover streets causes rock fall at rims. And again these flooding in Montana with all this uh, severe melt on top of the rain and stuff that they're having. Um, it's heading down that Missouri River Basin and um, into the Mississippi Valley just the way things go. So. Uh, water, water, and more water here in the central United States. Uh, busy 2011 fire season in Mexico. Um, they're saying their fire season, which usually uh, snuffs out just about this time of year, is uh, going above and beyond. Um, they're saying due to a lack of rain in the 2010 rainy season, the dry, you know, blah, blah, blah. We know the story. It's just the fires are getting crazy in Mexico and continue to be. Um, the, like I said, the RSU is uh, still reporting fires in Russia and uh, remember all the problems they had last summer. And... And just a bunch of fear pieces left on that. And then over to the RSOE. Again, they have the <clears throat> the Iceland volcano. They said uh, stop spewing ashes for the moment, but they're not uh, holding their breath quite yet that it's over. Uh, wildfires in Canada, of course, continue. Uh, they're closing these big uh, the big sand oil where they're extracting the oil out of the sand in Canada. A lot of these plants are being shut down and whatnot. It's just that whole area is just uh, massive devastation, smoke, and. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, they're even talking about how it could uh, change the temperature uh, due to uh, all the extreme smoke. Um, again, the extreme weather in Wisconsin. Uh, flooding in Montana. Peru is reporting colder than normal temperatures. I know they're getting into their winter right now, but they're reporting uh, freezing and below freezing temperatures in places that don't normally get that cold. Uh, flash flood in the Philippines, of course, they are under that big storm. Um, extreme weather reports coming out of Kansas. Uh, tornadoes in Oklahoma. And another volcano in the Philippines, the Mayon Volcano. Um, uh, lots of earthquakes, high activity. They're uh, expecting it to erupt at any time now. Uh, let's see, they got an update. Let me push that up real quick. No, they don't. Anyway, I will have links and whatnot below. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments below or attach your videos. Uh, until I see you again, enjoy while you can. Thanks for your help, everybody.